Hey everybody, it's Necap here, and in this video I'll be talking about Retribution Paladin no longer being kind of in that broken, super strong tier anymore, and hopefully uh, will not be receiving many more nerfs, at least not any big or major notable nerfs going forward. Uh, so I finished up another round of Mythic Plus testing. They brought Mythic Plus back this weekend, and this is, you know, on a Friday, and I got into, you know, a handful of Mythic Plus dungeons, uh, Halls of Valor a couple times to, which is what you'll see in the background here, uh, to try out, try out Halls of Valor with its nerfs and stuff that they've done to it, and then also some of the older, the, the other dungeons that I've already tested to kind of compare my damage to previous runs, like before nerfs and stuff like that. Uh, to kind of get a sense of where Rhett's at. Now, what I found out in the Halls of Valor dungeons uh, in particular was a little bit, uh, not shocking, but like a bit <laughs> a bit off, uh, off-putting, I guess I would say, uh, because I did not realize, uh, because in most of the dungeons, you do not pull small at all. Um, I never realized that our like light cleave damage is not that good. Uh, obviously, after the nerfs, it's actually much, much worse. Uh, and so that's what I came to realize here. So uh, I will say a caveat is, uh, if you look at the damage numbers here, uh, I do not have Sanctified Wrath taken for this. What they did was, and I'll show you later in the talent tree, they seemed to just randomly moved Sanctified Wrath and Seraphim. Not moved, but like switched to where they were. So I had S Sanctified Wrath taken, but because it switched locations with Seraphim, I actually have Seraphim taken uh the whole time I played tonight, essentially. And uh, it's, as you can see, it's not on my bar or anything, so it wasn't really helping me out much. Um, it would have been useful, I guess, to actually test it out, but because it was not on my bar, that's not the case, and because I didn't know I had it, it's not the case. So my damage would be higher if I had Sanctified Wrath, obviously. They did do nerf Sanctified Wrath by a little bit, but obviously it's still more damage if I have it. So uh, I am missing a portion of damage due to that. Uh, however, you will see us here on single target and not doing very much damage whatsoever. Not that I'm playing particularly great on this boss, trying to remember it, uh, but you know, not doing a ton of damage here compared to, let's say, the Enhancement Shaman, who is insanely, insanely strong, <laughs> at least this one in particular that I'm doing this dungeon with. So um, what, I, what I came to realize doing these Halls of Valor is that like two target, three target for Rhett is not very strong whatsoever. It's really those mass AOE pulls that's carrying Rhett over the top. Now, in other dungeons uh, where we were doing larger pulls, uh, I was able to, you know, do the kind of more of that big hitter damage that I I'm used to doing. You're going to see here on this three pull, this is actually a good example. This is a three pull with wings, right? And so obviously my damage isn't going to be, you know, terrible or anything like that. But it's just not uh, what it what it could be. Uh, you know, it, it's still a lot, obviously. And if this was a plus 15, the pull would have lasted more. Maybe I'm even a little bit uh, more ahead of the other group. But then you're going to see without the wings and then everyone else doing good. Uh, but yeah, so it's just it's just a it's just a rough rough thing as far as the 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 small target pulls. Uh, it's also a thing too when you're doing small target pulls, you're generally doing quicker smaller pulls. So you're not having your cooldowns up for a different pull. So, uh, you know, I don't have anything up for this pull, for example, right? I don't even have one minute cooldowns up. And that affects it as well, right? Uh, there's there's tons of micro factors that go into it as well. The overall thing I wanted to point out is just that our cleave damage, our 2-3 target damage, is nowhere near as strong as our mass AoE damage. That's kind of just the only point I want to make here. It's not that we're terrible or bad or whatever, maybe middling, maybe whatever, maybe average, but it's not as strong as our high damage. I think you have to factor that in, right? Every time you nerf Divine Storm, you're nerfing Divine Storm for 20 targets, but you're also nerfing Divine Storm for two targets, right? And if we get back to the place where it's better to use a single target rotation, <laughs> Uh, for two or three mobs, I, I don't think that's a good place personally to be in. So I do not want to see that happen. And maybe something tuned properly, like Executioner's Wrath tuned properly, would kind of solve that problem even, which is definitely possible. So instead of like Final Reckoning, you go down like an Executioner's Wrath path instead. That's the execution sentence that does like uh, cleave damage essentially. So maybe that could be, you know, a solution for that. Uh, but, you know, it's not properly tuned right now to even test that out. 
but that is like a solution to it. So um, I would say as far as mass AOE, so let's talk about the mass AOE pulls. Still really strong there. Like I said, I was doing it without Sanctified Wrath, and, and that's a good chunk of damage, especially on big pulls. And I was still kind of keeping up with even like the other top DPS people, like the top DPS classes, with the notable uh, notable difference being Monk, which if you don't know, Monk is kind of still busted. They haven't kind of got their nerfs yet. Uh, I assume that they're going to be coming, uh, but Monk is kind of super busted still uh, on the beta right now. I assume on PTR too, but on the beta, uh, Monk is still super busted. So uh, not higher than them, but pretty much keeping up with everyone else, even without Sanctified Wrath. So for big pulls, still really, really good. For small pulls, it's going to be a little bit worse, uh, especially because small pulls tend you kind of do like more quick small pulls. Um, you know, obviously, if you if you have your one minute up at least for every pull, that's going to change things a little bit. Higher dungeon key could also do that, right? This is only a level 10, just trying it out. Maybe in a level 15, I at least have my one minute up every single pull that changes things a lot i'm not doing a pull with no cooldowns essentially uh which obviously feels terrible so uh that could change things a lot too but definitely not there's just a noticeable difference between massive and small pulls uh as far as single target still kind of middling there right not not great single target either and so overall i would say ret is kind of um middle to top third ish as far as like just straight damage goes right now that's just a roundabout guess right that's just from my experience from playing with other classes and seeing what their damage is like on different types of content or that be the raid testing or in these mythic plus dungeons uh seeing what their their damage profiles kind of look like so it is it is a little bit of a guessing game of course but i would say ret currently damage wise is middling to top third and heavily carried by big aoe so big pulls big aoe lots of ads heavily heavily carried by that i would say so I would say that's where we are right now. I also want to address something too before we go in and talk about some of the talents in the game uh, real quick. I do want to address something else too, and that's just that something I get a lot, I don't probably put enough credence into it as much as I should, is people ask a lot, should I play Rep Paladin, right? That's that's kind of like a streamer joke. Uh, streamers say that people always ask if they should play their class or whatever. Uh, they come into their chat or whatever. And I think that's it's a valuable thing because people want to know. They want to kind of plan what they're going to play and stuff like that. And I would say, and I'll just straight up answer the question right now. Uh, if you are someone who feels like the need to pick your class right this moment, pick your spec right this moment, should you play Rep Paladin for Dragonflight? I would say no. And that, it doesn't make me happy to say that, of course. Uh, but I would say right now we're trending down. Like I said, we went from being like the super broken spec on the beta PTR to now more of a middling or maybe top third, but we still do not have the mobility. We still do not have spell wording. Um, so we don't have like the utility usefulness and we still do not have more art of war procs, which makes playing it more fun, playing rep more fun. So I would say in every important area we've trended down throughout the beta, including just flat damage. So, um, you know, mobility, utility, fun, and then also damage have all trended down. And unless that trend breaks, and if that if that trend if they, if they give Rhett spell warding back and increase the art of war procs by a lot, then I might have a different answer. But if I had to answer right now, I would say no. I would not suggest that you try out Rhett Paladin for Dragonflight. Uh, so it makes me sad to say it, but it is the case. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the talents here. So one thing I was testing out uh, tonight was. Uh, Zealot's Paragon versus Divine Purpose. I don't have any, you know, definitive results on that yet. I, I didn't do enough dungeons to really say one way or the other. And the dungeon profiles are so different, such as Halls of Valor being a bunch of small pulls versus, you know, Ruby Life pulls, or you can do some pretty big pulls uh, as another example there. So uh, you would have to do the same dungeon many, many times, in my opinion, uh, which I might be able to do this weekend. Uh, but no definitive answer there in Divine Purpose versus Zealot's Paragon for AoE. I have a feeling since with the Zealot's Paragon being 0.5 and um, then Divine Purpose is better for AoE. That would be my guess, right? That's kind of a easy assumption to make if you play right a lot. Uh, but that's kind of my guess. But we'll see for sure uh, how that works out. If I can do the same dungeon like, you know, maybe 10 times and, and see or, or close to that and see what it's like. Like I said, so the odd thing down here as far as this goes is they switched Seraphin and Sanctified Wrath. So I actually had Seraphin, like I said, taken for the entirety of my play session tonight. 
uh, losing out on a lot of Sanctified Wrath damage. Now, I didn't test it out because I'm still playing Might for uh, Mythic Plus right now, but Crusade uh, should work with Sanctified Wrath now based on the last uh, hot fixes supposedly that went in. It should be working. I, I guess I, ha I haven't tested that out yet. So that makes Crusade much better <laughs> for um, Mythic Plus now since it's working properly. So, you know, obviously that's worth testing out and playing as well to see. Uh, it's going to depend on, again, your pull length. Are you getting are you getting full uptime of your wings? If not, then might it's probably better if you aren't getting full uptime on your uh, wings because the pull's not long enough, for example, right? Ex Exorcism, still not doing any damage. So this is one area where we could be buffed. Uh, to make us a little bit stronger and that's if exorcism is buffed to do anything if this talent choice a cadescence touch of light is buffed to do anything um you know seal of wrath does nothing expurgation does nothing and true swake does nothing so we have one two three four five talents that effectively don't do anything uh yes they will appear in your details uh, they will appear at the very, very bottom of your details <laughs> if you if you use them. Uh, so, uh, you know, they, they, they exist, they work, they just don't do any damage. So uh, I would love to see that switched. They did also um, revert the Ashes to Dust change from a 20% back to 35%. So I don't think Radiant Decree is just like a slam dunk anymore as far as that goes. I think they also nerfed Radiant Decree a little bit. In the patch notes or in the hot fixes so uh ashes to dust could be back on the table for aoe especially um i was playing radiant decree tonight but i am going to go and kind of compare that with some ashes to dust procs and see if that helps damage as well uh for aoe so uh that's a good thing to look at as well but overall uh as far as the talents go this is probably what we're going to have going in um and it's it's the same issues i just talked about it on if you should play right or not right uh, we still, the Divine Seed's probably not getting anything changed at this point, unfortunately. So, mobility is going to be crap. Uh, it's just kind of the way it is. And then, um, utility. Uh, I, I do use my Battle Res a lot <laughs> in these uh, Beta Mythic Plus dungeons. I do use my Battle Res quite a lot, so that is utility. Uh, but not having the spell warding really, really kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it kind of stinks not to have that. And so... That's utility, usefulness that we don't have because you can also cast it on somebody else, right? And then more Art of War procs. I always scroll over Blade of Wrath when I say that because that's kind of what they nerfed essentially to get the less Art of War procs. Um, maybe meet in the middle somewhere in Art of War procs. That makes the spec more fun to play. And I would, I'll stick by that 100%. For AoE, uh, and I'll give these numbers again, just feedback purposes if you haven't watched my videos before. Uh, in AoE, it's like 10 to 15 seconds per minute. You're like assuming you're playing, well, either way, it would be a one minute cooldown for execution sentence too. Um, so for AoE, uh, like let's say I, I'm saying if Ex Executioner's Wrath ends up being better for like two or three target than Final Reckoning, uh, then you would take that. So um, for AoE, out of every minute, because that's when your cooldowns are up, your Divine Toll or your other Final Reckoning, for example, Every minute, there's like 10 or 15 seconds of kind of downtime with current Art of War procs. And in single target, it's like 15 to 20 seconds, it feels like. Um, maybe even more, like 22 seconds or something. It's it, it, it kind of feels bad, in my opinion. There are people that disagree with me on this. I will, I, I, I've just played this enough on beta to just say that I just think those people are wrong. And that it is just the case that we need a few more Art of War procs. It doesn't have to be where it was before. Where it was before, you were getting them to the point where you couldn't even spend everything fast enough. Like, I was still obviously using them because you get a free Consecration with it and everything like that, right? But, like, you were you were getting it so fast, you couldn't spend everything. Um, like, you, you were sitting on other buttons to spend your Art of War procs, like, for example, right? So it doesn't need to be that high by any means. But it does need to be higher than where it is now in my opinion, to kind of eliminate that downtime uh, every minute or whatever. And single target, it's worse because um, as far as cooldowns go, you're not using Final Reckoning. You currently aren't using Execution Sentence because it's really not very good right now. Uh, so you don't you have Divine Toll still, for example, but that doesn't give you the extra Holy Power. So it's just giving you the one Holy Power. So you, that's why you have that extra downtime for single target, if you're curious there, is you don't have like these extra buttons to press. 
so it leads to more downtime and you also don't have the extra holy power from divine toll hitting five targets and filling up your holy power bar so uh you have all these other issues with single target so more art of war procs please that's the biggest thing that's the biggest thing that we can hope to accomplish if we get more art of war procs i would say to focus then on spell warding if we get spell warding somehow then we just hope for the miracle of divine steed or mobility extra mobility so uh, that's where I'm at, guys. I will continue testing over the weekend. Maybe one more video this weekend, um, like a Sunday or something, after I've done a lot more. Talk a little bit about Zealot's Paragon versus Divine Purpose, for example. Talk a little bit about Ashes to Dust versus Radiant Decree. Um, I'll play around with those this weekend and see where we are. So uh, I'll get back to you guys on that. As always, I do ask you to please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out so much. And other than that, everybody, have a good one.